So in this video we prove the commutative property for dot products. So the uh, commutative property said that if we have vectors uh, u and v that u dot v equals v dot u. In other words the order in which we take the dot product doesn't matter. So let's, cons let's suppose we were proving this for R3 and then we'll look at how we would extend that to a proof for Rn or n dimensional space. So if we were working in R3, what we want to do when we're proving something is we need we look at what we need. And in this case, we see that we need two vectors, u and v. So the first step is usually to make the thing that you need for your proof. So here I would start by saying let u and v be elements of, be elements or members of R3. So we construct two vectors in R3 if we want to prove this property for R3. And then once we do that, we are going to do some manipulation. So I'm going to say then, and then we would say u dot v. Let's look at what u dot v looks like. We want to show that u dot v can be manipulated into v dot u. So what does u dot v look like? Well, in R3, we know that the vectors are three component vectors. So u is going to look like u sub 1, comma, u sub 2, comma, u sub 3 and we would be dotting that with the vector with component v sub 1 v sub 2 v sub 3 and at this moment we just use the definition of the dot product to actually calculate the dot product so we know that the dot product is the sum of the products of corresponding elements so it's going to be u1 times v1 plus and then we'll get u2 times v2 plus and then we get u3 times v3 and there's the dot product calculation and then what we want to recognize at this point is that these products here u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 are just real number products in other words the vector components are construct aren't vectors themselves they're just scalars they're real numbers and we know that in the real numbers if we have a product of two real numbers that a product of two real numbers is commutative. So what we do is use the commutative property for real numbers to change the order of each of these three products. So u1 times v1 is the same as v1 times u1 plus u2 times v2 is the same as v2 times u2 plus u3 times v3 is the same as v3 times u3. And then what we want to recognize is that this is exactly what we would get if we took the product v1, v2, v3 dot u1, u2, u3, which is exactly the dot product of v and u. So we've shown that the that dot products are commutative. And then the question would be, how would you prove this for n dimensional space when we don't know how many uh, how many components we have? We just know there's n of them. And the way that you deal with it is essentially just say let u and v be elements of r n. So let them be vectors in n dimensional space. And then here we get rid of this middle and we say, hey, u sub 1 is the first vector component then there's lots of vector components sitting in here all the way out through the nth component so we we make uh, we, we just make an n dimensional vector using the ellipses as our tool so we go here we go dot 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 and then v sub 3 instead is going to be v sub n and here we won't know how many products are in the middle but we know that we're going to add them all up. We're going to continue the pattern and the last one will be u sub n times v sub n. We change the order of the multiplications to all of them so the ellipsis says do whatever you did here do it to everything in between ending at the last two vector components and then here we get our ellipses and we've made our proof for generic n dimensional space.